Hey guys, welcome back to Tourno 1500. It's been a minute since I've posted, so let's get right into it. Okay, so I've had multiple USB sticks, wait a minute, multiple USB sticks fail on me within the past few years because I keep writing operating systems to them, and a lot of those operating systems tend to be Mac OS versions. So what if I combine all of those Mac OS versions into one USB stick? Hang on, let me just pull out real quick. Something my dad didn't do. This is a 64 gigabyte Kingston USB drive, and it currently has macOS Mojave on it, although I am hoping to get uh, macOS Catalina all the way up to Sonoma on it. I've already tried it with macOS Mojave and it didn't really go out too well, and one of my friends already did this with macOS Catalina, as the base operating system, so I'm hoping that'll work a little bit better. All right, so let me just take the USB drive and plug it back into my MacBook Air real quick. Dismiss that. I wish I could disable those. And there we go. So from here, I'm going to go into Disk Utility in order to format my USB drive to macOS Extended Journal, because that's what I'll need to do for this project. So for this installer, I'm going to be using the DOS Dude 1 macOS Catalina Patcher because it's basically the easiest way to make a macOS install disk and it also gives me the tools I'll need to install macOS Catalina on older hardware that's not supported by macOS Catalina. This is basically the newest version of macOS you can get on like non-metal supported hardware that'll work just fine. So. That's why I'm using macOS Catalina. So from here, I'm going to download the latest version of the macOS Catalina patch, or wait for that to download, open it up, and then download a copy of macOS Catalina. So since the one on my computer is broken, I already suspected that would be the case. I'm just gonna download a new one real quick and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. All right, so now that the install macOS Catalina is in my applications folder, I'm just gonna go right back to the macOS Catalina patcher and click on create a bootable installer. Uh, click Mac OS, start, yes. Just type in my password and, and it's done. What the hell? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I'm fucking stupid. So it's in my applications folder now. I moved it after I uh, downloaded the installer, so. I'm a bit of an idiot because it would not be where it was looking for it. So, what the hell? What the hell? And click start. Warning, all the contents are gonna be erased. Type in my password, enter, and we should be installing. Perfect. All right, so it's done. So I'm going to quit everything right now, uh, basically, and then I'm going to restart my computer to make sure that this installer actually works. I'm not gonna install Mac, reinstall macOS right now, I just wanna see if it's bootable. Uh, just so if we run into any problems with unbootability or the installer being broken, we know what state we started at. All right, so the installer is obviously bootable. Now I'm not gonna install macOS because I already have a functioning macOS on here and I don't wanna downgrade to Catalina from macOS Sonoma, so we're just going to restart the computer all over again, boot back into macOS Sonoma, and start doing this. Alright, so I'm going to grab all the macOS installers I need, including macOS Big Sur, macOS Monterey, and macOS Sonoma, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to have some copying to the USB stick to save me a bit of time. Okay, so I've got all the installers on my computer. I'm currently working on copying uh, macOS Mo Monterey and macOS Sonoma to my USB stick. And then I'm gonna copy them into the directory that they need to go into, which is applications. But actually, I wanna do something a little more specialized for this. Uh, it's currently September 8th, so MacOS Sonoma hasn't official, MacOS Sequoia hasn't officially launched yet. So I'm thinking of trying to put the beta on the USB stick and also do that as well as Monterey, Big Sur, and Catalina. Okay, so I've got macOS, Catalina, Monterey, Big Sur, and Sonoma on the USB stick. It's not prepared yet, but macOS Sequoia is 15 gigabytes, and there's 12 gigabytes free on the USB stick. So, unfortunately, I don't think it's happening because, well, 
there's not enough space on the USB stick, frankly. So I guess we're sticking with four Mac West versions, which is still pretty good. I mean, I, I can delete older Mac OS versions as they come out of date. And when Mac OS Sequoia, I actually need the installer. I can put it on the USB stick and replace Big Sur with that. So yeah, I think it should be fine. So when you have all of your installers in the applications folder, go to System, Installation, CDIS, right-click Mac OS Utilities and click Show Package Contents. From there, go to Contents, Resources, and then open utilities.plist. Now what you're gonna wanna do is copy one of the existing apps listed here, paste it under the existing app, and then fill in all the info for the new macOS installers. Also, if you used Mist to download the installers, make sure to delete the version numbers at the end of the file name of the installers. And don't forget to save this file after you're done. All right, so now I have all of it looking how I want to look. I added all of the installers to the file. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is close out of it. I've already saved it. Make sure to save it and then close out of everything here. Uh, I'm going to also close out of Mist. And I'm going to restart and try out our installer. And there we have it. So I got macOS Catalina, macOS Big Sur, macOS Monterey, and macOS Sonoma on the same USB stick. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, change reinstall macOS to install macOS Catalina after I'm done here. But yeah, this is great. So now you can install basically any macOS version you want. But there is a caveat because this is only support. This machine I have is a 2014 MacBook Air. It's only supported via OpenCore Legacy Patcher. So unless you're willing to do some uh, spoofing, you might not be able to install your. Yeah. Wait. What? Huh. Does it do it for all of them or just the one that's not supported? Oh. Okay. So you should be fine. So yeah. As I was saying, the Sonoma installer is probably screwed up in some way or another. But uh, yeah, it'll give you a message like this. This update cannot be installed on this computer because, well, it's technically not supported and you need an officially supported machine to use this installer on. But uh, you can get work around that by using uh, SM BIOS hacks and all that kind of stuff with Open Core. I just don't have the time to do that right now. So, so there you all have it four Mac OS versions on the same USB stick. Now, I've been wanting to do this for quite some time, ever since July, when I bought two new Kingston USB sticks uh, in the 64 gig variety to replace the old ones, which were exactly the same, except they're degraded because I kept writing and rewriting operating systems to them that they just died out. And some Mac OS versions don't like to install for them anymore. Uh, so, I just made this full all-in-one USB stick that'll make my life a hell of a lot easier and as well as uh, uh, not degrading my USB sticks out because the read cycle usually doesn't kill these things. So thank you guys for watching. You know the drill. Like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and I'll see you guys in the next video which should be a lot sooner than this one came. Alright, bye!